Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder the King Maker with me, Borden. Last time we did the Bald Hilltop Part 6. Um, I did check some stuff here. We had a disaster with one of our things and... Um, which one was it? That one, yeah. So we got minus 8 to economy, minus 8 to relations. Not great. Right, so we're going to do some stuff here. Let's look at the map. Okay, so... Uh, let's check Amiri Vale. We could upgrade this to the next level. Yeah, I think that's the one that we want to do. So upgrade that. And we can enter and do some buildings there as well. What the? <laughs> Is that Akpo? <laughs> That's Akpo, isn't it? He's having fun. I guess he got so screwed up with the other thing. Okay, build. All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff we can do there. Put in the festival. Let's see that. Let's put in a... Mage's Tower. Put that there. What other nice things can we put in? Let's see, stats. Something that helps with arcane, maybe. So let's have a look for arcane. Divine, military. Put in the mansion as well. But let's find Mage Terror. Okay, so the Mage Terror is going to help with the Arcane already, so we've got that sorted. And a library. Let's put that there. Hospital. Uh, community and Loyalty. Let's put you there. Community and Stability. Let's see, what do we need most? Maybe espionage, but not sure. Um, goblin quarter, maybe. Yeah, let's see that. Okay, it's enough for there. We shouldn't now be able to upgrade any other. So there were a few more things that looked like they're upgradable, but it should be now that we can't upgrade any other ones. Let's check the regions though. There we go. Yeah. So it was, it was choose one, so we did that. So Amiri Vale being upgraded. Then let's go to our advisors. Um, okay, what do we need to do? Um, hang on, back to advisors. Okay, so we got one more thing there so we got two projects you got one more day there okay so we could strengthen horse skill or jod skill so um the advisor learns new nuances of the craft become more efficient to post choose an advisor to handle this event let's see that let's start that project Okay, that's going to be 20 days for that. Um, let's get Ekon on that. Then we can support someone. We do Valerie. Um, or Amiri. Can't help Ekon. What do we really want to actually level up? I think... Actually, um, where's Ekon again? Oh, you're busy. Okay. Right, so. Mm. 
culture is six. Probably loyalty. So that would be this one. No, diplomat. Okay, well, we're going to do that anyway. Start that project. Okay, succeeded in that. How do we do in the other stuff? Failure for that. That's not good. Uh, we succeeded that one though. And that one too. Okay, events. Okay, got visitors. Okay. Uh, you're going to do that. We're going to give you a crisis point. Hopefully you can sort it out. New settlers. Okay, Octavia. Yeah, you're going to do that. Uh, the back doors. Okay. Uh, or Fay back doors. Noble in trouble. Opportunity. And. Ooh. We can't do anything with that for the moment because he's indisposed for a little while. How long is he indisposed for? Six more days. Okay. So past six days and then you can do it. Uh, claim Dunsworth. Okay. Um, Tristian, you help us with that. And it's going to be seven days. That's actually pretty good. Because then um, we'll have other people available for stuff. So we succeeded in that. Nice. So we got Another area there. We've only got a couple more places left, really. Unless down here is available too, but I think it's just over here. Right then, training. Um, Renowned Cross Glorian, good. Uh, Fail that, okay. That worked though. And that worked too. Okay, then events. Chairman of the Outlaw Council. Um, let's go with Valerie and start that. And what was the one that was the problem? This one, right? No, that's an opportunity. There we go. Okay. You're starting that. You're starting that. Um, and you're going to start that. Okay, that's almost everyone doing something, which is great. Now I want to see, um, Arcane is still not level one yet. So Divine is at level three. Maybe we need to level Divine up again. I thought it was level three though would open that. That's what happened before. But let's go see who needs to talk to us. Middle-aged halfling woman in tattered traveling clothes bows before you. Greetings, your highness. Thank you for agreeing to see and hear me out. My name is Jace. I am a priest of Desna, goddess of travelers and luck, who accompanied us on our journeys. The fame of your lands has called me to your door with a request. Jace folds her arms across her chest. Desna protects those who spend their night out in the open. Please help me and my associates create shelters for such travelers, or such shrines to the goddess. It will not take much, but the hundreds of travelers who pass through your lands will thank you in their prayers. Building shrines is a fine idea. Of course I will help you. I knew it. I knew you would agree. May Desna keep you and your loved ones safe. My companions and I will await your news. When you are ready, we'll begin right away. We'll have shrines in, in all every corner. Oh, in every corner of your state. Okay. So it was originally going to be in all corners, I guess. Okay, then we have the guys coming up here. Your Highness, the Wild Hunt has been defeated. Your quick and effective actions left the attackers no hope. You're 
grateful subjects would like to present you with this humble gift. Why are they giving me gold for just for... Another attack awaits, though I doubt it will come soon. I have a feeling that Ny Nyrissa won't hold back this time. It won't be the most terrible blow yet. I only hope we can survive it, or it will be the most terrible blow yet. I agree with the storyteller. I visited the ball hilltop and the portal to the first world is almost stable. It appears that by the time of the next attack, it will be steady enough to become a permanent bridge between Glorian and the first world. The way I see it, we've had enough of being afraid of her. If Nyrissa wants to attack us herself, then let her come. But she won't, will she? She's going to hide from us, tucked away in the first world, until the bitter end. I suggest we deal with her army here, then move immediately to counterattack, before she musters the strength for another invasion. Can we use the portal on the Bard Hilltop to the first world? I suppose so. The portal used to snap shut after every attack, but by now it should be a reliable passage to the first world. It probably leads directly to Nelrissa's lair, wherever that may be. Christian's face is determined. I agree with your plan. We will enter the portal I helped create and end the war I helped begin. Do you think Nyrissa will appear personally to command the attack? I bet she won't. It isn't her style. She'll just... She likes just watching from a distance while she plans her next insidious trick. But I think she's just plain afraid of us. Are you sure this attack will be the last? When you deal with the Fae, you can't be sure of anything. My guess, however, is based more in the fact that, in fact than speculation. Never before has there been a portal to the First World that is so stable. We're also, we've also cornered Narissa like never before. I'm betting she's absolutely beside herself. In any case, first we will have to repel the attack. This will be a difficult battle. We shouldn't underestimate the enemy, especially one as cunning as Nyrissa. Yeah, so we're going to have to find out what the trick for the next battle is going to be and try and sort it out that way. Okay, so you're bringing us some lovely stuff. Warm Hammer of Hatred. Okay, thank you for your gift. Then this guy is bringing us something. Yep. Cheers. Okay, get ready for anything. We got more stuff here as well. Can we now research the ball hilltop thing? So that's done. Projects. Desmond's Wayside Shrines. My right, Tristian's gonna handle that. You start that. And then. Support the General's endeavors. No, because she's doing something, right? Minister. Oh, you're not doing anything. So it could support you. Can't support you. Can't support you. Okay, well then, let's look at rank up. Then regions, what can we do with the regions? Name of art. That'll just be seven days, so let's do that. Okay, upgrade all regions in your kingdom. Sounds good to me. Uh, Warden needs advice. Okay, we'll talk to you in a second. Mysterious weed. All right, you have a 90% 90, 90 chance to solve that. That's good. Um, right, what else can we do? We could support endeavors and stuff. We won't do that right now, though. Okay. Guard headquarters. That's gonna be seven days. Right, we need to talk to someone first though. Let's go to the map. See what we can do in terms of upgrading things. Okay. 
nothing there. Huh? Guard headquarters there. Okay, I guess we just have to help him out when we get the chance. So let's kick out of there. Kesson looks grim. I received new reports about those bullets, your highness. We have managed to get rid of them, but this only led to an increase in attacks from other dangerous beasts and even bandits. It seems the bullets have been keeping them at bay. There is other news as well. Due to the capital's rapid growth and the inflow of people from the provinces, the outskirts of the capital have become a real slum. Streams of sewage crisscross the streets. Hordes of rats and disease abound. What's worse, robbers, pickpockets, fences, and other dregs of society have found a home there. I suggest we double the guard in the slums and place restrictions on who can come and go, and when, I'm much, it's much cheaper than trying to clean them up, and more efficient than simply tearing them down. Now I'm going to do this. We should focus on causes, not consequences. I command you to begin renovating the slums. As you wish, Your Highness. I must inform you, however, this decision will prove costly. It's fine. So, plus three community, plus four stability, and we lose 200 build points. Okay, cool. And then we can support him in that endeavor as well. Right, so. Let's get a couple more of those done and under our belts. Okay, so that was done. Projects, support the wardens. That's gonna be 14 days. Okay, so I wanted to go regions first and let's do this with him. Okay. Oh, disaster of that one, that's not good. Okay, that was worked out though. Trouble lands, opportunity, and population census. Okay. Let's see. You do that one, 100%. Let's have jobless do that. 10% to do, not good. You have to try it though. Okay, and then we're going to go projects, support the warden. Let's start that. It's going to be 14 days. Okay, so that's success. Good stability is ranked up. Um, this, oh, more disastrous. Great. Payback doors, not good. Uh, failure there as well. He failed. He had a 90% chance to do that and he still failed. Just, we're not getting, we're just not getting the stuff going for us at all. The strategist, that's an opportunity. We'll have to miss it though. Okay, and then projects. Hang on, let's see, advisors. We still can't, we still can't um, appoint the last advisor. He's a counselor. It's, so we've got the high priest there. Then we've got the arcane or wherever is supposed to go there, but for whatever reason, we can't do it at the moment. Let's see, projects. General, minister, treasurer, counselor. Can't do that with you. Can't do that with you. Can't do that with you. Let's do that with you. Get you ranked up. Build Desert Shrines is done, good. Okay, excellent. Triumph on that, good. 
another disaster on the population census, not good. Success there. Okay, then we have some more events. Minister demands your attention. Okay. Then problem, the river maidens. You're gonna sort it out, so that's great. It's hundred percent. Drink till they drop. You do that. Let's give you a crisis point. Uh, praise for what that was. 50-50 chance. Probably gonna screw it up, but it's okay. Okay, then if we go to maps, I think everywhere that we can upgrade is done. Yeah, we've got a couple of places where we don't know what the upgrade is. So Dunsward and Glen, Glenabon, we should spend time, time in those places finding out. So over here near Lindsay Shire. Okay, so let's exit here. We're gonna have to get, we need to get back out on the road because we're doing a lot of this admin stuff. Okay. We rest a spy, emergency, a mercenary from Daggermark. He identified his client for us, but it turns out she wishes to go over to us and save herself from her old master. I don't trust her. She betrayed one master. She's bound to do it again. We could take her hostage. We could even use magic to probe her mind. But both methods are unreliable and besides, magic is bad for the brain. I suppose we should set a trap. Let's feed her a lie and see where she takes the bait. Do you understand what I suggest? Act as you see fit. She's lying to us. We'll have to lie to her but our lives will be more convincing. Okay. I don't know whether he's right or not, but we have, do have to support him. Okay, potion of displacement from Bakken. Okay, cheers, buddy. We're gonna come see you because apparently you're in trouble, even though you're able to come and, and visit us all the time. All right, so. Let's get back out on the road. It's where we need to be. Okay, leave everyone. Yeah, because we'll we move we move the other two in when we're gonna go back to Patax. We can just change the party and wait for them. It'll make more sense. Because I still don't quite trust them to be, you know, semi-permanent members of the party. I'd rather just do what needs to be done. Right, so... I need to go there. See what's going on, Boken. It'd be really nice if we had lots of potions to sell us now. It's kind of what we're missing. Okay, let's get ourselves around here. We'll talk to him first. Oh, it's you. How convenient. I need your help. You have to run some tests. 
Well, I need to buy something from you first, which I hope you have. Ah, cure light wounds. No, still. Still crap. Okay. Still just to cure light wounds. Right, well, let's see what these tests are. Tests? What tests? I found a formula all on my own. These damn books didn't have it. Nothing but hints and half truths. There. But you can't fool old Bulkin that easily. <laughs> what formula? The elixir of eternal youth. A most wondrous brew. Restores the strength in one's hands and swiftness in one's feet. I first heard of it when I was still just a lad and I didn't believe in it. But now I've lived a long life and I've seen even stranger things. So I thought, why not get, give it a try? So I ask you to find these books for me. I'd heard that one of the volumes contained a formula. Well, it turns out they don't. All they do is make things clear as mud. Still, I was able to find something useful in there. I can't remember how many nights I stayed up working on the solution, but here it is. Bro Boken proudly shows you a few vials filled with silvery liquid. Can't drink it yet though, must test it first. Can't be too careful with these things. Bogan gives you an expectant look. So, will you help me? Alright, I'll do it. Wonderful. Thanks for that. Let's try it on a dog first. There's a mutt on a leash around the corner. You can test the stuff on it. I won't feel bad for it if something goes wrong. That'll teach it to stop barking at me every time I pass by. I could do it myself, but... What if it's off the leash? It won't harm you as it would harm me. I should go now. I'm gonna go talk to her, because... Yeah, that's a bit weird. Onwards. Torturing dogs? I'm not, I'm not down with that. Okay. What's the story? Felani gives you a slight bow. Greetings, Your Highness. Much better, la la la. Oh, now we can't... Ah, damn. Now we can't talk to her about it. Because we, we basically committed to helping him. So she won't tell us what's been going on. Right, poor old dog. I'm sorry. Really sorry, buddy. I know you're going to die. Okay. Untie the dog and let him go. There we go. Yeah, I feel better with that. We could bluff and we'd, we'd pass as well. As soon as I fed your potion to the dog, spots appeared on it from head to tail, and then it had orange saliva dripping from its mouth. Bokken blinks at you, clearly surprised. Orange saliva? But wait, what's that then? This potion wasn't meant to make such changes to the body. To the demons with the dog. We need someone more human to experiment on. You know what? My neighbor, a hunter. Once told me he saw were rats in a forest not far from here. They'd make better test subjects. After all, they are closer to human than a dog. We should find them and try again. But take this while. This potion has a different, improved formula. Okay, well, were rats. It depends, though, because although they're were rats, it doesn't mean that they're evil creatures. They can just. They could just be people who happen to be cursed to turn into rats. But they still could be good people. Yeah, so... If the were rats turn out just to be kind of normalish people and and aren't you know trying to, to kill us, 
and stuff, then yeah, we'll we'll do the same thing that we did with the dog. We'll just leave them be. I don't need a potion of forever youth anyway. Right, where that's there. Okay. Let's travel to there. And then let's enter. May we have a moment of not yet. Respect. We're gonna deal with the we're at first. Okay. Hey there, where at friends? Hunched grey figures turn to face you as you approach. Yellow fangs show from green muzzles, and clawed paws reach for weapons. What do you know? I was looking for a couple of lab rats. Do I have a volunteer? The fact leader snouts twists with hatred. Die bald skin. Okay. I guess we could have been more diplomatic there, but oops. Let yourself what you looking at? Finish me off. Here, take a sip of this first. The wearer drank Boken's potion and died. We should tell Boken about this. Okay. But hang on. Oh, wait. No, let's go back there. Hang on. We basically killed these guys. And then we gave the guy a potion. And then he died. But it's not, it's not the case that um, we definitely know that the potion killed him. We stabbed him a bunch of times and gave him a potion. And now we're going back to say, oh, we gave him the potion and he died. Oh. I probably should have definitely talk to Svetlana before talking to Boken. Maybe we would have got a different... But, yeah, we probably would have got a different path in the story, but it's our own fault. We were impatient. And, yeah, you know, when you're impatient and you make hasty decisions, sometimes things like that happen. May we have a moment of respite? Okay, um, let's head on back to you. Oh yeah, when we step. let's camp actually. Most nobles are noble only in words, but you have a noble heart. Thank you. Truth be told, the false nobleness you mean was precisely what I ran away from. Some place where people are tested by their deeds, not by their words. That's one of the few times I can remember um, that the chat at the camp has been repeated. This just goes to show how, how much work the guys did on, on the game to be able to have so many interactions between the characters and it only after being like I think we got about 150 hours in this game maybe and only after that for us to notice one conversation that is a repeat it's pretty good
Okay, Boken, we got news for you. Or Boken, Boken, whichever one you want. The words died from taking the potion. Is that so? Hmm. The words simply died and the mutt gone rabbit. You see, my potion wasn't meant to do anything with the mind, only the body. We need to go for one final test, it seems. We must try the potion on a human. An elf would do just fine as well. Or a dwarf, or... Boken takes a small glass vial from his pocket. He exhales sharply, takes a few gulps, and the vial is empty. Oh, is he going to kill himself? To victory! Oh no, now we got to... Shit. All we wanted for you to do was to make us better healing potions, and then we got to kill you. <sighs> the omen's eyes are beginning to clear. It seems that he's coming back to his senses. What? What happened? The potion clouded your mind. You attacked me. Gods. Forgive an old man. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Bucken wipes the sweat off his brow. I never thought that potion could work in such a way. But, but still, it does seem to make one stronger. Thank you for your only help. Now, I know how to iron out the wrinkles. I think. You think. Okay. Right. Um, put those tasks. Let's look at something else. Now, do you have better potions for us? It's still all the same stuff, so maybe he needs time. Let's have a chat with Oleg. Oleg doesn't really have anything we want either. He hasn't really advances the stuff that he sells since the early part of the game. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We've got to... I think first of all, we're going to do Ragongar's thing, and then we'll go to Patax. Just because of, of the positioning where we are, we're kind of up north. And Ragongar stuff is to the west. So it's more of a straight shot than going southwest to Patax. I like how, like, just reading this here, I like how Lindsay is kind of developing as a character and as a person. As we go through, she's kind of getting more worldly wise. Right, so we're going to there, yeah. So we want to go travel there one day, 11 hours. Then we're going to have to wait for Ragongar to join us. What I might do is I might actually swap out Amiri and Ekon for both Ragongar and Octavia. May we have a moment of yeah. respite? Uh, let's try and avoid. We know who it is. Actually, we can approach because there might be something he's selling that we actually want to buy. Because he does sell pretty nice stuff. Sometimes. And that tip there, one of the best tips in the game, I think. The tactical oh, flow as well. Right, let's have a chat with you again.
Right. Speed King comes to bow. Half plate of stability. Leather armor of great cold resistance. Certainly interesting. Okay, so that's a scimitar. That would be good for Ragongar. Corrosive battle, flaming battle axe plus two. I think we've got a better one than that, right? Great shock, great axe plus two, five to 26. Five to 22. 1d12 slashing, then 2d6 electric. Yeah, so the one that we have is better. Although if you wanted the flaming and corrosive then, that one certainly would be good. Um, I can try the great sword. Let's have a look at I want to have a look at that compared to, let's say, your bow. So 3 to 15, 3 to 10, 1 to 8 each, but then you've got your fire on top. I'm sure that that one shoots a lot faster. I'm not sure whether speed would make up for the damage difference between the two. So I don't think we'll do that one. Okay, so we leave you with your stuff, I think. Oh, oh, we can't even check. I was going to check um, Wagongar, but it's okay. Right, so see you later, buddy. We'll check you out again. I'm sure there's tons of, of chests that we haven't opened lying around the place that we'll never, just never go back to try again. I'm hungry. When I bet I now, actually. You would like it in Absalom. It's a noisy city. Big. <laughs> I wish I could trade my homeland for Absalom, and you'd probably be happy in my quiet village. But now, oh well, now we both have our home here in the stolen land. True. Okay, let's continue. And I'm gonna do this thing with Rugongar because otherwise I'm gonna this is the end of this is the end of a um where are we here changing yep no problem okay so out out in and in this is the end of my session so i want to um, get it done because otherwise next time i'll probably just go off on some kind of crazy um, tangent and doing something else instead because I can see their their messages there about the about our kingdom and then they'll probably get stuck doing one of those and one thing leads to another and suddenly yeah we're not doing what we thought we were going to do Okay, dead people, interesting. No stopping now. Can't interact with the dead people.
There's some up here though. Ingid. Ingid, son of Shatara. In the dry grass, you can barely make out signs that people once lived here. Burned bits of tent, rusty swords, rainwashed bones. An old half orc is the only living soul among the desolation. Wrapped in a charred mantle, he sits on the ground, devouring a raw rabbit and tossing the bones to a dog lying at his feet. He squints as you approach, but he doesn't reach for any weapons. Hmm, who's there? No one comes by here anymore. I'm Ragongar, a son of the Sharp Fangs tribe, and they sold me into slavery. Where are the Sharp Fangs? You're looking at them. The old man points to the bones scattered along the ground. All there, elders to children. Just me left at the Sharp Fangs. Well, me and you. Who are you? Ingrid, son of Sh Shatara and last of the Sharp Fangs tribe. Got nowhere to go. And my hands, hands have been feeble a long time. I sit here and eat whatever coal brings me, waiting for some kind person to pass by and help an old man bury all these bones. But no one comes here. Must think it's a cursed place. And they're right. Tell me about your tribe. Our tribe was always stronger, braver and more valiant than the other tribes. Know why? We had a tradition. Mixing our blood with orc blood. Orc power with human prowess. We took the best of both races. No room for weaklings in the tribe. Weak children were either left in the field or sold to someone from the city. You say you were sold? Must have been sickly. What good would you would that do to the tribe? Don't blame us for your own weakness. As Gongar clenches his fist, Octavia places a hand on his shoulder. Easy now. Let him finish. What happened to the Sharp Fangs? Dead. All dead. Chieftain's son destroyed them. See, Chieftain Agdan, may he feast eternally with Gorham. He didn't want anyone else's ki kid to become chieftain after him. So he needed an heir with incredible power. That's why he chose Gra, the Dragon Eye, to bear his children. She was a mighty orc, warri orc warrior, who scorched her enemies with lightning, boasted of having dragons in her family. She demanded a lot of gold for it, but she delivered more than she promised. She had not one child, but twins. Agdan th thought a while on what to do, then wisely decided that a tribe doesn't need two chieftains. Sold a weaker one to someone from the city to get back some of the gold he spent. Okay, I think we know who the other child is then. Started raising the second one, Stragger, to be our new chieftain. The boy was all right, deft, cunning, strong, and he knew how to use dragon charms. Could strike an elk with lightning from his hands when he was knee high. But there must have been too much orc and dragon blood in him, and too little human. The older he got, the more, well, you know, the old man knocks on his head with a bony knuckle. Had a temper like a dragon. If something went wrong, he'd start fighting right off. Couldn't tell his tribesfolk from strangers and would shoot lightning at the tiniest provocation. Was always cocky with his father too. Called him names, screaming about how the chieftain sold his brother, saying he'd look for him and return him to the tribe. In a word, crazy. Anyone else would have been happy that the chieftain's mantle the one I wear now, ahem. Anyone else would be happy to be getting the mantle, especially with no rivals for it. But he was stubborn, wanted his brother back, no matter what. Then one time Agdan grew tired of Stragger's whims, decided to teach him a lesson, as a father dud, does. Knocked him a couple of times with a long rod, and that was it. Boy screamed like the hells, and his eyes flared blue started shooting lightning at it all around. It was terrifying. I still see it in my sleep. Flames, smoke, lightning everywhere, tents burning, one after another. I was too old to fight, so I hid behind a hillock to stay out of the way. Some of the others, they went at him with swords, and they all died. No one survived. Even the little ones were burned alive. He took a go as good as he gave, though. Died of wounds soon after. And that was the end of the sharp fangs. Rogongar looks at the bones 
scattered in the grass, baffled. Brother? He sounds like a nice guy, best in his tribe. A lot like you, I wish I could have met him. He doesn't sound like a nice guy at all, what the hell are you talking about? Ha, me too. What do you say, Ragongar? Well, what is there to say? The half-orc looks across the bone scattered, bone scattered in the grass. Lend me a hand here. Let's give these jerks a proper burial at least. Okay. So we do that. Oh, got a little bit of a cutscene. Lad, you're Stragar's brother, the chief and second son. This is yours then. The old man drops the charred mantle from his shoulders, holding it out to Ragongar. Tribe might be gone, but the chieftain's mantle is yours by right. After moments of hesitation, Ragongar accepts the mantle. Thanks, old man. May the gods grant their souls peace. Gungar looks at you. Let's go. Nothing left to do here. The half-orc turns and walks away from the burnt settlement without looking at anyone. Okay. Wait, where's Gungar gone? Oh, we have to go talk to him now. Okay. Wait, where did he go? What a dick. Okay, let's level her up. Wizard. Okay. Ability, trickery, stealth. Knowledge, arcana, and world. Uh, spell focus. Divination. Okay, then some new spells. Dragon kind two. Um, invisibility mass. That could be good. Let's get that. Uh, oh, and then this one. There we go. Oh, hang on. We have ones that are. Let's take you out. Okay. Divination next. Oh, we, we picked them anyway. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we're going with. Right. This is fine. Okay. Um, will we? No. Now we're done. Oh. Oh, she's got more levels. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, when they're not in the party for a while. You've got a bunch of stuff that needs to be done. There we go. Okay. Now, Polymorph Greater, uh, Firebrand, okay, complete, there we go, right, we're still overloaded unfortunately, so I don't think we'll be able to leave while well, we're overloaded. Be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, you kind of travel in your inventory. Okay, so let's have a look. We're only, we're only just about. It looks like we're only just about overloaded. Right, so everything and by weight in descending, not ascending, descending order. Okay. Then these. Okay. Drop. Drop. Um. No, I didn't mean to do that. 
drop, drop. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, we need to drop you. Drop. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop all this stuff. To just get us back under the thing. And then we're gonna bring somebody else to help us carry all this stuff. We're almost there. I do not want to be dropping all this fairly expensive stuff on the ground. Uh, I think one more will do it. No, not quite. There we go. We're heavy now. To leave all that stuff. Yeah, because if I don't do this, it's another one of those things where between sessions, it'll just completely go out of my head and all that stuff will just be sitting there. Like some of that stuff, maybe all together, it's maybe a hundred thousand gold or something. Because some of the, I know some of the things that we're currently not using are rather expensive. Okay, and then, oh, now he's back. Okay. What a dick. Wait, well, let's level you up. Adetics and those two. Uh, okay, point blank shot. Oh, um, yeah, that one. There you go. Then acid spray sounds good to me. Like that. Right, one point, so... Hmm, let's go Charisma. Okay, do those. Right, level four, B-shape. Then your level sixes. Disintegrate. And chain lightning. Okay, complete that. Right now, I want to go back in and see if he's still in the party now. Because if he's not, then it just means that he's somewhere here and we have to find him. Okay, he is in the party. Right, well. A reckoning is at hand. I want to talk this to you. Is my Any fun to be had? Where to now? Right, well then let's... Where's all the stuff that we dropped? There it is. Right, now we're not overloaded anymore. Okay, good. So we can maybe talk to him back in the capital and do that. Right, well, that's where I'm gonna leave that one then. The next time we'll do Octavia stuff, 
And then if we have to, we'll have a chat with Ragongar and Octavia about where they want to go in terms of their own personal stories. And we'll probably then swap them back out for Amiri and uh, Ekandayo, who were more used to having in the party. But that's going to be it for me. Hope you've enjoyed. I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.